Welcome everybody, I'm Scott, and this is my YouTube channel, The Quilting Camper. And you know what time it is. It's time to unbox the October 2024 So Sampler Box by The Fat Quarter Shop. I hope you'll join me. Today, of course, we're gonna do our unboxing of the Fat Quarter Shop Sew Sampler Box for October 2024. But I wanna to talk to you about a couple other things. This box inspired me to start reorganizing this monstrosity. So that's why you're not seeing me in front of my Bernie here, Bernina. You're seeing me in front of my fabric stuff here, which is my collections of pre-cuts and fat quarters and yardage of canvas stuck over here and quilting fabric here. And I didn't want to talk about what's in here. I found something in this box that just inspired me to want to organize my stash. And it's been really exhilarating. That's why you can actually see my cutting mat here. It's nice and open the way it should be in any craft and sewing room. I went to Ikea and I found these cool little bins. These bins are so neat. You can alternate and then they stack like this. You know how many notions and zippers and little tiny pre-cuts and different kind of marking pens. We never have enough room to put those in. You can put them in here, stack them up, and file them into my IKEA furniture. And I bought a door to close it so you don't have to see the cubes. It's just really been exhilarating. I also came up with a great way to store my current projects. Over here, I got this five shelf unit system from IKEA and I bought some mat boards and I just put my current projects on each board. So when I want to work on that project, I'm inspired to pull the board out and then work on it. It's really awesome. And I'm not looking for a project bag that's hiding somewhere in some closet or some storage space. It's been a lot of fun kind of reorganizing the way I organize this small sewing space. Cause this is in my living room of my studio apartment and I have it kind of marked off at about a nine by nine section of space. So I don't have a lot of room to work with, but it keeps me creative when I can keep it organized. And there's something in this box that inspired me and I can't wait to share that with you. I do wanna let you guys know, thank you for your support in my endeavors for applying to become a Bernina ambassador for the class 2024 to 2025. Unfortunately, I did not make the cut and that's totally okay. I did reach out to the coordinator director for the ambassador program and they had mentioned that they had a higher than usual pool of applicants that they were not anticipating. I do realize there's a larger talent pool. There are a lot more creative sewers and quilters out there than me. And I know that I don't have as much of a social media impact as some of those other designers. And I totally respect that. You do realize I'm here to represent my favorite dealership here in the Milwaukee metro area and that's Bigsby Sewing Center. They're the people that I want to represent either way, whether I'm an ambassador or not. And actually Jeannie from the Bernina program said, you can be Rosemary and Don's personal ambassador. And that really touched my heart. And I really wanna thank Bernina for looking at all of my footage and considering my application. It meant the world to me. I met Sarah Armstrong, who's been working for Bernina for 31 years at the quilt show. It was just a really, awesome experience and it kind of made me realize some things I need to kind of move forward with in my life and sewing and quilting. This YouTube channel is not going away. I'm going to continue to make content. I'm going to continue to do these unboxings and share things that I want with you. I do realize I need to make more creative content and how to and I'm really working at that fervently and you will see some things based on that. Another thing I want to tell you is I'm trying out a new HD camera. It is a DJI Osmo Action 5 Pro. If you haven't watched my hike footage at Lapham Peak, go ahead and watch that. Let me know what you think about that camera. If you think it's high quality enough, I might use it here in my sewing room, but I definitely like to have an outdoor camera that's more versatile when I do my camping trips and other things for quilting, crafting, photography. I do enjoy making that kind of footage, but that is not the primary purpose of this channel. I'm just sharing some test footage. 
I'm also working on a fall color walk that I did at Harrington Beach where I also hang out a lot at and I'm working on that currently just to see how it looks and I'll be sharing that with you. Without further ado, let's do the unboxing for So Sampler October 2024. I am so happy my post office did not damage this box. It actually looks halfway decent. And the theme for this month is Color fall, oh, how cute is that? I really appreciate the thought that So Sampler puts into their boxes. The people at Fat Quarter Shop are bar none, some of the best people out in the industry for customer service and also thoughtful buyers. Now this box was not the most valuable box that I've gotten in the past year. As a matter of fact, the retail value of this box comes up to $65. Boy, some of the boxes we got this year were like 85, 75 somewhere in that range but i still only pay 29 dollars and 99 cents plus six dollars and 90 cents for tax and shipping comes to about 36 dollars 65 dollars worth of stuff for 36 still works for me and everything in this box sort of calls out to me you do know that we do get a little surprise inside the leaflet here and you can see with the 50 dollar purchase or $49 purchase or more, we can get these coasters for free. Super cute. And then we also have an extra pattern for the fabric that's enclosed in the box too. I always enjoy that. So the first thing in this box is the sticky scissors sheets. I do not like the word sheath. And the funny thing is the spooky box had a leather sheath in it from Fat Quarter Shop. So guess what? This month's box has a little mini scissors sheath in it as well that you could probably mount to your sewing machine with some sticky tape. This is made by a 3D company based in Utah, meaning 3D printing. And I've always wanted to do a video on my 3D printer because you can print up notions, accessories, all sorts of stuff for your sewing area. It's unbelievable. You can buy a printer at Best Buy for $100 $99. It's really reasonable. But that's what this thing looks like. And I'm going to take my OmniGrid scissors because of Kimberly Jolly at Fat Quarter Shop. I learned about these five years ago and I only buy these now. They're the best sharpest scissors out there and it would fit in there like that. So you could place this with some double sticky tape on the front of your sewing machine and have a safe place to put your very sharp mini scissors. Really cute. It is 3D printed with filament, so you can kind of see the little lines on there, but how cool they partnered with a business in Utah for 3D printing to make something like this. This is kind of cool. It's very special. By the way, this retails for $5.48, somewhere around there. The other item in this box really inspired me to start organizing my craft room, and that's the mini bolts. I forgot about these. I struggle so hard with how to organize my fat quarters. And please don't judge me, you guys. This was an idea I had about two years ago to try to figure out how to organize my fat quarters and some of my half yard pre-cuts. So I bought these drawer organizers on Amazon. I bought a set of three for like $20. I just thought it was really neat that I could put my fat quarters in a place where they would stay together. I could colorize them a certain way. And this is the majority of my fat quarters. I still have some elsewhere. These are loose fat quarters, not ones that come in a bundle. And I really like it. The problem here, yeah, they're gonna come out wrinkled because I have them folded down really tight. But the mini bolts will help me keep them more flat and more organized. So I was thinking while I'm here chatting with you guys, let's give it a shot. So I read some of the directions online and how these work. Let's see if I can remember. So we'll take one out of here. There's six in this pack, by the way. Really nice plasticky material. Looks like it has a little hanger, so you could hang it up too. And it's said to put a part of the fabric into this little part here, if you can see that. There we go, like that. And then go ahead and wrap it around. And as long as I can keep it flat, I would have a really nice way to organize my fat quarters, keep them solid, and I wouldn't have to press them all the time. And then I could get an organizer similar to this one, but it has just one shelf in the center. And then I could go ahead and stack them along like this. And that shelf at Ikea for this unit's like $9. It's super cheap. So I'm gonna give this a shot. Fat Quarter Shop sells 50 of these for $49. And I thought, great, then I can get those free coaster promotion that's in the little flyer for this month's So Sampler box. This just sparked so much interest in trying to overcome the organization of my fabric storage. And it might actually help you guys out too. It's really cool. By the way, this is valued at $5.48 for this pack of six. 
So the next item in this box really got me excited because I just watched an incredible video from MX Domestic. Please make sure you subscribe to their YouTube channel. They really offer some awesome tips for sewing, quilting, crafting. I just absolutely love Matt's YouTube channel. They did this cool little springy collapsible container that's circular and I've always wanted to know how to make them and it seems so complicated but he made it look so simple because it really isn't that complicated. And I just bought some Pellon SF-101, which is like a facing that has fusible on one side and gives fabric some structure. And you need a spring. So I thought I was gonna buy the spring. And then look at what came in the box. Oh my gosh, a spring. It's like Fat Quarter Shop was reading my mind. I thought to myself, I can't believe that that came in this box. And I actually have a pattern in here too. I don't believe there is any SF-101 in here, but I just picked some up at the quilt shop that I recently went to. So I'm so excited that I get to make one of these and give it a try. And if it does work out, I'm gonna reach out to Matt and let them know I am excited that they shared that technique because it inspired me to create something I never thought I could make. And that's awesome. And this was in my Fat Quarter Shop box. It's like the universe was coming together for the right reasons. I know, I'm thinking too much about it, but it really was special to me. This retails for $15.98. Since it came in my box, I didn't have to pay for shipping from some other company just to buy this product. Fat Quarter Shop, MX Domestic, you guys rock. You are like my soul in the world of quilting and sewing. Thank you. And of course, what would So Sampler Box be without their Quilt Along Block of the Month? This block is block number seven, and it's called Cups and Saucers Basket Block. There we go. These are really cool. I don't know if the finishing kits are still available on Fat Quarter Shop. These are able to be purchased off the Fat Quarter Shop website for $4.98. And of course, what would so sampler boxes be without the exclusive pattern? Unlike the block of the month, you can't purchase this one separately. This is an exclusive to the so sampler boxes. I'm not totally in love with this style. As you know, this isn't my design aesthetic for quilting. I'm a little bit more modern, but the pattern in here is beautifully laid out. It's very easy to read. Fat quarter shop patterns are the best. And on the back, you can see what you need to purchase. In addition to the fabric that is included in this month's box, you can also see what you need for backing, binding, and background fabric. Love these. I save them and keep them on hand for some of my friends. Maybe someday when my channel grows bigger, I can send these out as prizes to my viewers, and I would love to do that. I just have to grow my channel a little bit more. Oh, and that pattern is $9.98. All right, so of course we're gonna talk about the fabric now, right? This beautiful card that they put together. I'm telling you, this is one of the coolest parts of the Sew Sampler box. It has all the descriptions right up and the prices on here. It's just done so well. This box is top-notch curated. If you're trying to look for a subscription box out there for quilting and sewing, this is it, you guys. I have seen a lot of other boxes. This one is the creme de la creme. I am not sponsored. Fat Quarter Shop doesn't even know who the quilting camper is in no way or form. Am I an affiliate? I pay for all my boxes and I love getting them. I do end up having a lot more fabric stash because of them, but that's a good thing, right? Okay. So I am going to read the descriptions for the fabric and I've already got several bloopers for you to all enjoy. <sighs> the pressure's on. Okay. Splendid Laguna Sunrise Fat Quarter Bundle by Sherry and Chelsea for Moda Fabrics. Why settle for dull autumn hues when you can dazzle the Laguna Sunrise Fabric collection by Sherry and Chelsea for Moda Fabrics? Bursting with vivid colors and striking patterns, it's designed to energize your creative corner. With playful pinwheels and lovely florals among its offerings, this set of six fat quarters lets you taste all the splendor. It's valued at $24.98. All right, so let's check these out. Can we? 
wheels. These are so cute. Sherry and Chelsea, their colorway and their patterns that they choose are so unique. I can always rely on them to have something kind of modern but cute and I love that cohesion. This to me represents Sherry and Chelsea very much. They had a basic slime that used kind of this flower pattern with bright colors and I love it. It's like this green represents Sherry and Chelsea in their colors, which is really some of my favorites. This actually looks like a sweet water color, but I like the pattern it represents Sherry and Chelsea. My friend Robin in Utah got me hooked on Sherry and Chelsea. They do like a podcast on YouTube and I follow them. It's a lot of fun. Every Sunday night they launch a video. I just love their fabric. I love their energy. It's a mother and daughter. It's so much fun. Thank you Fat Quarter Shop for having some fun fabric in here. And a reason now why we've got the mini bolts. This is total inspiration at its best. Remember this bundle here is $24.95. Was that right? Yeah. So what do you guys think? Is this color fall collection incredible? I'm just thrilled to death about this box. If you guys want to get one of these boxes for yourself, all you have to do is go to Fat Quarter Shop's website, find subscription boxes, find this little sampler box, and hit a reservation fee for 99 cents. You'll get called in as a collective, and usually within one month, they'll let you know that you are able to come on board with the Soul Sampler subscription service. I have a different setup for this camera today, and I continue to look at the button over here, and I need to look over here. So if you see my eyes wandering this way, it's because I still have to train myself where to look on my camera in order to film the videos. Thank you for bearing me through that. I really appreciate it. Once again, you guys, I appreciate you following me here on my YouTube channel. It means the world to me that you want to spend time with me and to learn more about these boxes and learn what's going on in my world in terms of fabric sewing and quilting. Holidays around the corner. I have two quilt projects I have to get done before the holidays. It's really important. And I'm barely started on one and I'm almost done with another. So we kind of have some leverage there. I promise I will still post the simple half yard bag that I want to make with you guys. I'm thinking of about doing a YouTube live. I think I might get more interest in people to wanna follow. Maybe if you get to see me work in my craft room, I prop the camera up in the corner, we can chat, we can have some fun getting to know each other and I can make some of these projects and share them with you. If you think you'd like to participate in a YouTube live, please give me a comment down below and ask me, hey, that's a great idea, Scott. I used to do Facebook lives all the time, but I just don't think Facebook is the best platform to do live videos on. I think YouTube is a a better place and then I can link them to my other social media. Also remember you guys if you like what you saw today please give me a thumbs up. Make sure that you leave comments below and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. This channel has been growing a little bit more. I got seven subscribers since the beginning of October and I'm so excited about that. I hit 200 last month and I have 207 now and that's not 500 or a thousand but it's more subscribers, more interest and I appreciate you taking the time to sharing the content because the more interest I get, the more visibility I get, and the more we can share this message of sharing kindness, sharing our talents, be able to spread some of this creative joy, and that way we can have more fun creating together. I'm just so grateful you're here with me. Remember, sharing kindness is what we're all about and what we're here to do. And if you'd like to see what's going on in my quilting, crafting, photography life, you can also check out my blog, thequiltingcamper.com. Well, that's a wrap for today's unboxing, you guys, and updating you with all the things that are happening in my world. And I hope that you appreciate me sharing with you. I certainly appreciate you listening. So until then, see you on the next one. Bye for now. Well, and a really awesome product that was in this box that got me really excited was this. I can't get it out. Why settle for dull alum alum hues? I like the word fall autumn to proper. Collection by Sherry and Chelsea for photo for photo, for photo fabrics. <laughs> That's why I don't read these because I make too many bloopers when I read these. So what do you guys think? Is this color fall? So we can all have fun with each other in our craft rooms, in our kitchens, and then that doesn't sound right. <laughs> so thanks. Until the next one. Bye for now. I like just went out. <laughs> Once again, thank you for watching. 
Check out some of my other YouTube videos on my channel, The Quilting Camper. See you really soon.